Right, yes, we left off by successfully completing our trials in Boggly Woods. We beat Lord Crump, we got the Oregano Star, everything is fantastic. Where do we leave off? We left off in... We left off in Rogueport. Good old Rogueport. Can't go wrong with Rogueport. Uh, do we have... Oh, oh, we should start off with Luigi. I love Luigi's stories. But first... Llama Lord! Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I am a little bit early today. I really wanted to get started. I really love Paper Mario, and this is one of my favorite chapters. We're starting chapter three, which is mystery wrestling, so I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. We're going to start off the stream with some random side quest requests, because we need money. Do, 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 do. What do we have? Um, oh, lots of stuff. Okay, um, all of these, plenty. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I'm on, I'm doing that right now. Okay, um, we need to find out where I can find courage shells. I'm pretty sure I can find courage shells in Petalburg Woods. Not Petalburg Woods. <laughs> that's a Pokemon <laughs> location, and we're not playing Pokemon today. Um,. How much money do I have? I have 39 coins. Uh, we can worry about that later. We might, we'll start with uh, a Luigi story because we need to catch up on what Luigi is doing. Where is Goombella? Tell me all about the deep fried blooper. That's Luigi's blooper friend. That is his official name. No, no, Bluey. Okay, yeah, it's Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved though. I wonder why he looks all fried to golden crisp. He's been deep fried. We, we, Luigi must have taken him to a trip to McDonald's and they kind of got uh, turned around in the kitchens and it was uh, a horrible mess. Luigi, why is your friend deep fried? Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty nutso, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. Yes, Luigi, I would love to hear your story. Hey, sounds good to me, bro. Which, <laughs> it takes me a minute to get the accents pinned down for what I want to do, so bear with me as the accents change dramatically mid-sentence. But that that's thats the norm for, for voice acting for me. Hey, sounds good to me, bro. Which part of my story you want to hear? Uh, Rumble Bump Volcano, please. How did you go on, How did how did your adventure go on the pudding continent? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I, sent s I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit, to scare them off, you know, not out of fear or terror or anything. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard my shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman, an absolute crazy nutso person. I would not trust him with anything sharp whatsoever. Back in his hometown, he even had this nickname. They called him the White Torpedo. Ever since the incident with McDonald's, the frying machine, we, abs we had to change it, so he's now like the Golden Tornado. Torpedo. Eh, it, it works either way. Yeah. He's pretty tough. He helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that'd make the sun sweat. And the place was a lou was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Surprisingly not its eye. I know that's a trend with monsters that we've fought. It's usually the eye that we have to go after. But no, the gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high. I am your brother, after all. We are the Jump Men. Luigi, Jump Man Luigi, after all. But not high enough to reach this thing. Not by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. 
I waited for a pause in the statue's movement and hucked Bluey all the way up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit as well, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. She was in another castle. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now, the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Rogue Bar to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon enough. Oh my goodness, we need a game about Luigi's adventure in the Pudding Continent and eventually what's going to happen on, on what is... On, what continent did he just say? I've already forgotten his story. I, To be fair, Mario was asleep. Uh, we don't need to say it. What am I doing? It, it's only been like five minutes. Do you have anything? Uh, your brother's shop. We don't care about that. And we're in the middle of a quest, so I can't do any more quests. Where can I go? Double pain. Double the damage Mario takes. How masochistic. We save that for Saturdays. Not Sundays. Where can I buy? I need a place to find uh, courage shells. Because I do want... I'm going to take like 10 quick seconds. Where can I find... Okay, I need to... Okay, got it. Okay. We'll make a quick stop in Petalburg and buy the five shells we need. Because I want to do some of the side quests before we start Chapter 3 proper. Because I want to stay on top of those side quests. So we need to go all the way back to Petalburg and buy some turtle shells. Because we, as we all know, the main export of the Koopa Village of Petalburg is turtle shells. Don't ask, never ask where they get the shells from because uh, you won't like the answer. But it is imperative that we get we get there. How do how do we get? No, I went the wrong way. Do 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 do. We are at Petalburg. Welcome back to Petalburg, Mister Nifty. I need your courage shells. Yep, one two or one two three. Four. Uh, well, I only have three. I have. I need to make more space. Um, store the in coupon and the fire flower. Sure, why the heck not? And then I need two more. And then I can give those to the shopkeep in Petalburg. I do believe is the one. Not Petalburg. Rogueport. All the way back to town. Hopefully, I don't have to go back to Petalburg. Because if there are more quests in Petalburg... Well, actually, after the chapters are done, I'm pretty sure the quests that open up are in the locations that uh, the previous chapter was in. So, we might have only quests to do in Petalburg and Boggly Woods. And if that's the case, I might put a pause on that until we get the things faster or the warp like the warp locations i did have to talk to you right yep i found all the courage shells that's one that's two that's three that's four and that's five that's five you're done well here's your reward i hope you like it well i won't say no because those are expensive to buy but I will put it away for the moment. Let's go get another job. What do we... To get to Glitzville in Chapter 3, what do we have to do? Don't We have to find a blimp ticket, which I think we have to go and do a bunch of stuff with the Don Pianta. We gotta go... We gotta go talk to the leader of the mob. So that should be an interesting thing to do. Um... All right, yeah, Puny Elder, Pine T. Jr. Oh, I bet this is the kid whose dad is a writer and is not a good one. Uh, but maybe. it's He's in a world of hurt down there. Please, you gotta help him. I'm waiting at the entrance to the Pit of a Hundred Trials beneath Rogueport. Um, I am not going into the Pit of a Hundred Trials right now. 
The Pianta Parlor is now having its grand opening event. Nice! Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lahala, the cute kitty boo. We're waiting on Rogueboard's west side, so please come quickly, smooch. Oh yes, now I'm curious. Maybe if I help Lahala out, I can get a coin case. Or a Pianta case in this case. And then I can start gambling my life savings away. Wouldn't that be fun? Frog on a budget. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream. We completed chapter two last time. And yes, m we might be doing some gambling today. We have to get involved with the mob either way. So it's almost certainly going to happen. I have nothing but animals in the chat today. Llamas and frogs. Well, don't worry. The VOD is still up on the Twitch channel, so you can you can still check that out until, like, next, next Thursday before Twitch automatically deletes it. So there's still a chance to catch back up. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble. That is so super. Well, okay, here's your special thing. Oh, don't tell anybody. What's the matter? You look disappointed. Well, fine. Whatever. Enjoy the parlor. What happened to the Koopa? What do you mean, what happened to the Koopa? Which Koopa are we talking about? Play and win. Oh, wow. That was the, the entire trouble. All right, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, Do we have any way... Your friend guy. Oh, he's just, uh, he's in the party. We got a new party member. Look at Flurry. She's amazing. She has lots of hot air. And yeah, and Koob Koobs is still here. Koobs, Koobs, Koobs is, he's still around. But we're gonna, we're gonna stick with Goombello for the, the hottest of moments. Uh, let's, let's do some slots. Boom. Boom. Okay. I am intensely curious, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is that slot. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't... That was... That's incredible. Give me all of these. Maybe if we get lucky sevens. Nope. Pianta, Pianta, okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to uh, keep doing magic in case something goes terribly wrong. And Camo Cat! Llamas, frogs, and cats. Welcome one and all. Oh, that's a low paying token output. We need some sevens, we need some lucky sevens. Nope, lucky sevens please. Come on, I need lucky sevens. Lucky sevens, lucky sevens, lucky sevens. Nothing but piantas. We need to gamble until we win big. Nope. Nope. Yeah, the, the, the there is a Game Boy in the corner. I'm going to go until we have 20 coins or we get the lucky sevens. Ah, oh, that was close. Nope. Okay, last one. I know when I can quit. Okay, but hold on. Because I, I, I have this power. I have the power to change reality. Nope, hold on. I have the power to change reality. This is me changing reality. Okay, I need to change reality one last time. Mario has the power of reality. Oh, nope. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can we can gamble more when we have a better uh, payout. Is this where we can do rewards? No. What are my reward options? I'm curious to know. Cake mix, super shroom, super appeal, and refund. Well, we don't need any of those right now. Remember, kids, gambling is only good if you win, if you win or you're rich. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, the rest of the stream is not going to be purely gambling. We have to we have to wait until we get more we once we get that pipe that leads down to the basement of the gambling the casino then then we're good 
Wait, we have to go down. We have to go down to the Thousand Year Door so we can present the Oregano Star. And then it'll be a massive success. And then we can go back to Frankly, and then we can go and then talk to the mob. Casino basements do sound kind of sketch, but when you're Mario Jumpman Mario, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. Spinyas, Spinyas. I'm not going to worry about Spinyas or Spanyas. I am Mario, the most stylish of people. And Goombella. Classic Goombella. Oh, that's not good. Just hammer it. Still get the stylish, even though you kill it really quick. Wow, only one star point. Oh, we're pretty close to leveling up. Well, that's his, that's his name. Mario Jumpman Mario. Because he, he was originally called Jumpman. Back in, like, his arcade cabinet days. Wow, like, three coins. I'm so glad I spent the time to do that. Flurry, I need your help. There's paper in the way, and I need you to get rid of it. Oh, there's a pipe. I wonder what's down there. I wonder why, Frog. Why is Frogger your favorite arcade game, Frog? I'm trying to think of a reason, but I have no idea. Oh, we're apparently down here. I know there's a star piece here. Yep. Maybe I could have done that. Uh, Toad's help request. Oh, that would have been a... That would have been a problem getting back up there, though. Is there anything over there? There's nothing over there. Flurry, this is a thousand-year door. Look at it. It's very old. And we're going to present the Oregano Star. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. Behold, my Oregano Star. I seasoned the fish with this Oregano. Of all the stars we have, we have the Ginger Star and the Oregano Star. So we are two out of the seven spices that we need. And then we can make the ultimate dish. The tastiest, supremely cooked, perfect grilled sautéed mushroom. It does look tasty. Oh my gosh, this one... We get to go to the sky. Oh, yes. Oh, that is that is the cumin star. No, cinnamon. Cinnamon or cumin? We'd have, to, we'd have to do more research. It's going to be one of those spices, though. Oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? It means we're going to have to rent out a paratrooper and get him to fly us all the way up there. Maybe we can, like, go to the local post office and see if we can deliver us in a box. How do how do paratroopers deliver big boxes? Because if we can just ship ourselves all the way up to Glitzville, well, then that's a perfect solution. Oh, this is frankly talking, so okay. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. No, wait, that, that's, that's not old man breathy enough. Mm. Paper Mario is an absolutely fantastic game, and I absolutely agree with you, Camo Cat. And that door's been sealed for... Sh 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 the language has officially escaped me. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we must muster the power of the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Hmm, that's not what? I don't know! Wow, frankly, we thought you had all the answers. Why are you... How can you call yourself a professor of archaeology at Goom University and not have the answer to these questions? 
Frankly, please control yourselves. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this alone. Alone, I say. I need to find answers, or else I will never be able to call myself a respected professor at Goom University. Assuming we'll just make an ass out of you and me, and I'm going to say the saying, because this is, this is a, this is a, we've already di disposed of hard narcotics, we hunted down and broke the kneecaps of credit card frauds, we've done so much more terrible things in this than just saying the word ass, so, ass. Oh yes, how inappropriate. <laughs> what, do you, do you have something against the big butts flurry? It's probably because you don't have any. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Yeah, frog, you missed credit card fraud. We, 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 hunted, we hunted down a bandit, we broke his kneecaps, and then we delivered an unassuming package to a guy, and he, he promised to get rid of it discreetly, so, um, yeah, it was a, it was, it was an interesting side quest. We've gotta go to Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but oh, the gambling, the underbelly of Glitzville is a disgusting place. Even worse than Rogueport. Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special, a special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. And you really, really do not want to know how I know about that. I was quite a wild Goomba in my youth. It was honestly a miracle that Goom University hired me at all with my history. <laughs> honestly, it's only because I found the, the Thousand Year Door nearly 40 years ago that I even had enough political clout t to get into that teaching position. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little, a little on the seedy side. Oh, show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much of a choice. Word on the street and the back alleys is that all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. It's how he spends his fortune. It's all of those, um... Mushroom sails, shall we say. Mmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Well, I am Mario Jumpman Mario, and I have already got quite the reputation with the bandits of town. I'm sure I will be able to broker some kind of meeting with the Dawn. And if not, I can leverage the favor that Ishnail owes me. Because he does owe me a favor for getting his, um, one of his guys. We found a key to his house. Big wind lady, try not to flirt with everyone challenge. Impossible. Oh, you should have seen you should have seen how Flurry was when we met up with her. It was um an interesting experience. Can I go see the dawn? Um I know let me through the door. How do we 
I know there's a secret order to items. Hey, do you have a way into... The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I toss you like that. Diglett has the suffix let, meaning small. That means there's a more powerful dig. Yes, his name is Doug Struction. And it's just like 40 Diglets in some kind of mega evolved Doug Trio ultimate form. And they cause earthquakes that can level cities. How about that for a fake Emon? Pretty sure that's been done before though. <laughs> that's not an original thought from me, but it fits perfectly. Ishnail, I need advice. I know you have connections with the Dawn, so I need I need you to tell me. How do I how do I see him? You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You wanna meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains Don Pianta? Why would you want to see that asshole? He's just gonna steal your girl. I lost my girl to that son of a... Mm. You never want to do business with the Dawn, kid. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that... <laughs> that, that bastard. Did you come here knowing all that? Well, I knew it was bad news, but I mean, I kinda need a ticket to the blimp so I could go watch a wrestling match. I mean, Koops is really into wrestling right now. He, he, he doesn't make a big deal out of it, but I've seen the bandana and the, the, the shell paint, the paint specifically made for Koopa shells. He's really into, like, that alternate cosplay. He, like, he has this persona. It's like, La Cooper. And it's just really weird to see him take on this kind of Mexican... We're not, we're not getting into it. I, we, we, just, we just need to get to Glitzville. And we need to, we need to see the Dawns. And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? I mean, do you know how annoying it is for us, a gang of thieves, to be the ones paying out protection money? We're the ones who's supposed to be charging the protection money, not paying it. You know all that, and you still want to meet the guy who has done these terrible, terrible things. Yeah, I, like I said... It's kind of important. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. My son really likes that system, so it's a good number. And no budging on the price, not a single coin. Um... No. Oh, I pressed... You'll pay? Really? Yeah. I want to see what they do to me when I have no money to pay. <laughs> Groups wrestle Sona. <laughs> Yes, that's hilarious. You don't have enough cash, you dirty cheat. You can't pull a fast one on this snail. Well, I mean, I could. All I would have to do is just walk away from you at a moderate pace and just pick up a box of some of your stuff on the way out. If you're a snail, it wouldn't be that hard. Please, come back after you knock over a bank or something, chump. I'm not going to rob a bank. I probably shouldn't have paid all of that money for turtle shells. I don't know if I have enough money to buy the secret. I, If I remember correctly, from a playthrough that is about 10 years old, the last time I played this game was more than a decade ago. And if my memory works, a long squid is here, that means an automatic victory. I do love Long Squid. Long Blooper, because we're playing Mario. Squids don't exist in this game. I am... It's... It is... Dried Shroom Dizzy Dial. It's Dried Shroom Dizzy Dial. I can guarantee. Hold on. I want to make... Uh, magic... The Magic of Absolute... No, not that button. That would be bad. The Magic of uh, Ultimate Magic. Uh, dry Shroom. Only Bloop. Yes. Uh, dry Shroom. And...
and Dizzy Dial. Yes! Oh my, wait, oh, um, oh, the color of my mustache. Ah, uh, red, green, yellow, or black. I don't remember, I don't remember. Something in the depths of my soul says yellow. Let's try this again. Okay, my favorite color. Uh, uh, red. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't the correct response. Uh, blue, 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 magic of editing. Green? All right, uh, it's yellow, and, uh, Camo Cat likes green, so... We're going with, we're going with green. Oh, really? Interesting, thanks, great. I like that color, too, really, I do. Nope, it wasn't... Camo Cat, good, good try, but, uh, not good enough. Dry Shroom, please. Dizzy Dial, please. I'm presuming, of course, that the answer is yellow. It's black. My favorite color is black. No. Okay, so the, the initial answer was not yellow. The fact that I remembered the order to buy the stupid mushroom and the dizzy dial in is shocking enough, but I completely forgot that I have to remember what colors people like. Uh, my mustache color is green, and my favorite color is yellow. Oh my god. Go with your gut, people. You'll absolutely know what to do. You must be on an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Thank you, uh, uh, kitty cat boo. The boos have personas. That's insane. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Mmm. Hit me up later? After I'm done with, uh, the business with the dawn. No, there wasn't over there, anything over there. Don Pianta. You come here on the day of my daughter's wedding? What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You, a stand-up comedian? Nah, no, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta, I make crying babies weep. You want sure that I should run this bomb out on the rail, boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad get herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey, Bart, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure's real or not. Get me? But I tell you this. I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. Hmm. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. Nothing, nothing but cake for a man of your mustached caliber. It's nothing. Less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young 
associates, they vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be still nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. We're going to break Frankie's kneecaps, and then mount his head on a spike above the casino so all can see that you do not cross Don Pianta. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss. Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs couldn't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. That's what I thought. I'm glad we're full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? You find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesco and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Sheesh, this guy is a... Uh... That guy is fierce. Well, if I was a Pianta who eloped uh, against my father, the dawn of a crime syndicate's uh, desire, I would uh, I would want to get out of Dodge as quick as humanly possible. And uh, to do that in a port town, well, we need to go find a boat. So we we're we're going to the docks as quick as we can. Flurry! Better find the daughter. Oh, we will. And would you look at that. The daughter and the bastard in question. You. Give me your kneecaps. I have a message from the boss. Oh, hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or are you just, like, sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Oh no, Frankie, you gotta run. He's gonna kill you. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Tallface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? He'll bury you in a shallow grave. Francesca, baby doll. If we could just talk calm like with the boss, he'd understand. Oh, Frankie. My Frankie, don't don't you love me? Of course I love your sugar cookie more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But butter biscuit, they already found us. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see it, mister? I beg you, pretend you've never saw us. Can you do that? No way, sob sister. I need, I need these blimp tickets. What? What did you just say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine. Have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Frankie, you gotta talk to your butter biscuit. We gotta get her to go. Oh, what am I gonna do with this crazy dame? Well, if they won't go, we've gotta alert the boss. And, uh, well, if we see any wanted posters about, uh, Frankie the Pianta, hmm, we're just going to, uh, conveniently ignore them. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Uh, Coops is a well-known love guru. So, I'm sure if anyone can spare us the boss's wrath, it would be Coops. 
Mario, what are you- what are you talking about being alone? I have- You're the only one in this party with a girlfriend, Koops. You know better than anyone else. So, it's up to you to convince the boss not to bury us in a shallow grave. Or worse, shave our mustaches. Well, shave my mustache. You don't have a mustache, so... Maybe he'll just break your shell or something. Either way. A boss! Boss! We've got a we we've got a lead, but you might want to hurry. Their ship is apparently fast approaching. Flurry has lots of uh, partners. She doesn't limit herself. Oh, look who's come crawling back! The proverbial mustache. Do you mean prodigal, sir, boss, sir? No, I mean proverbial. Because it's a pro. I'm not I'm not talking philosophy with a man with a mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? I do, and I'll tell you. Ha, is that a true fact? Rogueport Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blink blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait! Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. Uh, I'm sorry, truly I am. <laughs> Selling young love out for blimp tickets. Well, they'll never call Mario an actually stand-up guy. I mean, all of this crime and sludge and filth and rope ports really corrupting his morals. Frankie, so back you come, head hung low, with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, boss, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your, border, your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame. Right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. Enough quiet, the both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad. No. Wait. I mean, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you for your blessing. Boss. I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out well in the end, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. All's well that ends well. Lo you <laughs> Young love has triumphed once again. But uh I did fulfill my end of the bargain, so you're gonna you're gonna have to give me my uh blimp tickets, boss. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal, and I'm a pianta of my word. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yes. Coops, you know what this means. 
your Wrestle Sona dreams are coming true. Who knew that guy's got her smiling ear to ear? She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here or I'll bust your kneecaps. Mount your head above the casino. Did you just stand on my desk? Are you st are you s is your partner, the Koopa, standing on my desk as well? What the hell is wrong? Get him get him get him out of the house. Get him out of my office. Oh my god, Koops, we gotta go. I think we might have made an enemy of the Piantas today. We gotta leave. We can never come back to the west side of Rogueport. Uh uh Miss Miss Furry Boo, uh pleasure meeting you. Uh uh call me. Wow, we did it, Mario. We can go to Klitzville now. Now that we have those tickets, I can finally enter. Oh my gosh, my dreams are coming true. Maybe this will be be my ticket to making Kubi Koo actually be proud of me. And if she's proud of me, oh my god, I find oh oh, we can only hope. Right? Oh, we got an email. Oh well, you know what they say. We got to be prompt with the emails. Koopley, who is Koopley? Mario, Koops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet I bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you heading next? I wanna see the wide world I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past that front door. Ha 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 from Coopley. Wow, look at this guy. He's frolicking in, in, in the gardens. Well, Coop's got a message from his father, so if he if he meets an unfortunate end in a rigged wrestling match, well, at least he knows he's loved. <laughs> Mario's committing tax fraud. New Super Mario commits tax fraud. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of crime in this game. But it's balanced by the, all the wholesome attitudes of the Piantas.